All right, so we're out here at Disc Golf Center. I told you about it the last time. We had to make a pit stop. We gotta get three discs. That's all we need. I'll tell you what's going on when we get to the course. But let's go get them real quick. one. We got the three, he's got the three, but first we gotta drive there. So we made it to Palmetto Park. They call this place the Green Gauntlet. It was about a 40 minute drive from this golf center in DeBerry. You guys haven't met my boy Kyle. Hey. On the 18th, how many days away is it? Two weeks, 14 days. Two weeks, 14 days away. This course, we got the Trilogy Challenge. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Trilogy Challenge, you get to use three discs. That's all you get. You get them in the player pack. If you lose them while you're playing, you're done for. Ah! Ain't that right, Kyle? <laughs> the only thing we don't know is if we're gonna be playing long pads or short pads. We hope it's the short pads. All right, let me show you the three discs before we get started. The putter, the only one they had at Disc Golf Center was the new prototype in a classic plastic. It's an agent, dynamic discs. The one we're gonna be using is a prime burst. So it's a little different. We get a mid-range. It's a VIP Tursus. It's an understable mid. The one we're getting is VIP. So it's cool I was able to find a VIP there. And last but not least, we get a driver. This year it's a Saint. It's gonna be in a gold line plastic. All they had was Opto. So I picked up an Opto. Kyle picked up a Retro Burst. He got the Blue Tarsus. So, yes. So hopefully don't we don't lose them when we're actually playing in the tournament. Otherwise, we'll be done for. I think I'll be throwing this thing a lot, and the putter. This thing feels a lot like a P2. So I'm curious to see if it's overstable. I'm excited. Let's get a little practice round in. I'd rather be putting uphill than putting back here and have a death putt. Right about here is an ideal landing zone. Couple of threes. This hole is the doozy hole. Look at down there. Wowzers. Even then, it still had a little finish to it. Yeesh. Oh yeah. Oh, what a kick. Damn, Kyle, how'd you do that? <laughs> Steep hill. This is not ideal back here. Oh. 
Wow! Oh my god. See that, John? Oh, I see it down there. Do you? See the orange? I do. How am I gonna get down there? We did some fishing and we got her out. Look at all these mosquitoes. In the bag? They're hanging out oh, in yeah, the bag. Oh my gosh. This is rough out here. It's got some stability to it, that's for sure. Nice. That'll do it. <laughs> Tapped in the five right there. 432, part four. So you definitely don't want to end up in there. There's the T. You'd be done for in there. Very sticky out here, lots of bugs. Definitely gonna have to wear some pants when we come out here again. That'll do it. Just like that. So Saints are the play on this hole. We got some straight shots. Very nice. There's the lake I was talking about. <laughs> That's a big lake. Almost done with the first nine. If there's one thing we learned, Kyle, what is, what's the number one thing about this course? Stay in the fairway. Have to stay in the fairway. Look at this guy. What's up, big boy? <laughs> the last time I was here, I saw a gator in the lake. It was a baby gator. He was just a little boy, yeah? Wow, look at that. That'll do it. In the fairway. Very nice. Nice. <laughs> to this guy. Wow, that is good. Sit, sit. I gotta say, I've been really liking throwing that putter. A little bit more overstable than I'm used to but I'm able to get some distance on it, keep it in the fairway. It's probably what I'm gonna be doing. Two birds here. Two birds. Two birds, one agent. Two birds, one agent. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the hardest holes out here. Par five, about 650 feet. Tight line through the woods. Let's make it happen. Send it down the pipe. Oh! What a kick. That was pretty cool. That was... Wow. If it sits.
Look at that cool cat. The fairway. There's the tee box back there. Come up this way. It does look pretty cool. That's a cool line. Hole 18. This is the only other hole over the water. We just got out of the woods. Not too far. The blue pad's over way down there. A little bit harder shot, but. but I don't know about that turret. It might flip over into the water. Nah. <laughs> He's going for it. Holy tea. Heiser City, he says. <laughs> yeah, let's put him in. The butt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woodsy course. Gotta be in the fairway. According to you, Disc, we actually both shot minus one, so. Really? But, um, fun course. Especially with three discs. I think it'll make it interesting that everyone has the same disc. Right. Gotta hit your lines, hit your gaps. So, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. So that's a wrap for today. We had a good time out here. Probably until the tournament, I'm only gonna use those three discs. The Agent is a lot more overstable than I thought it would be. The Tersis is a lot more understable than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be more like a beat-in kind of buzz, but it was kind of finicky. And the, the Saint, the flight numbers are like an Undertaker, so I figured it'd be pretty overstable, but it actually wasn't too bad. It was holding some straight lines and then just have a nice soft finish at the end. Or as long as the gold line we're gonna get flies like the Opto or the, the Retro. It was weird, the Retro and the Opto flew really similar. Usually, when you think of premium plastic, it flies a lot more over stable. The retro was <laughs> happy 4th of July. But yeah, I'm excited for the tournament coming up. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've done a trilogy challenge. Give me some pointers. I'm curious to see what you got to say. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.